Hey everyone, this is Brave Warrior and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share an amazing Unity asset called Forever which helps you create endless games quite easily with minimal coding. However, you might need to do a bit of coding later to complete your game. First thing first, let's import the package. Create an empty game object and name it something. Add a level generator component from the forever package. Now you'll notice two errors that we need to fix for it to work properly. Let's create a generator first. I'll be using the random path generator. This path generator provides several settings that you need to adjust. The most important one is the orientation settings. When you open this tab, you'll see three unchecked options, pitch, yaw, and row. You can follow along and copy these settings I'm using. Or you can play around with these settings and see what's best for your game. Next, we need to create levels for the generator component. I'll just name it something like level 1. This is where you set your sequence and add your created prefabs for the levels which I will cover in a moment. So let's close this and go back and create some assets. I'll drag this platform object from my folder and change few settings. Make sure you enable read write in your FBX. Now drag this platform into a scene and add component from the forever package. In this component you'll see few options. We want to focus on the objects tab. Expand it, click on the objects you find there. A new window will pop up with more settings. I'm going to enable bend mesh because we need to bend the mesh according to the path. A very important point here is to create this platform as a prefab, not by just dragging the object to a project tab, but using these save buttons. I'm going to save it in a project. You'll see the object disappear from the scene. Go back and open the level we created earlier. Click on edit sequence, enable the sequence first and then drag the platform onto it. For the settings, I am going to change the shuffle type to random by chance and use the default randomizer that comes in a package. Now in a hierarchy, click on the manager we created. We need to drag both of the files we created onto this component. Let's play and see if it works. Now that the level is generated, we need a player on it. So we can test if the endless generation works. I am going to add a sphere and call it a player. In the player, we need to add a component from the package. The component we need is called lane runner. There are few important things to understand about this component. The follow speed will let the player follow the path. The option is player should be checked if this component is on your main player. Physics mode should be set according to your player. If your player has no physics, use transform. The next important thing is the lane switch speed curve. You can play around with it and see which one suits your player. For my player, I'm just going to use this one. The next important thing here is the motion tab. Expand this and you'll see more options inside. These motion settings help your player move around on the path. You can change these settings by writing a script but that's not for this tutorial. So now that we have our player added. So if you play and see your player is half under the platform, we need to make some changes. To fix that, we need to add some values in offset under the motion tab. Since it's a Y position, we add values here. So you can play around with it and see whatever settings works best for your player. For the start mode, I use distance and set it between 20 to 40. This is very helpful if you want to start a game from some distance. Last thing we need is some controls for player. I wrote it down something very simple. You can download it from the link in the description below. Just drag the script into a project and attach it to a player. Once you attach it and play, you'll see the player moving left and right. This script helps you move left and right on a path and also checks the trigger if your player collides with any kind of enemy. I'm gonna add a cube and change its stack to enemy. Player will stop moving and destroy itself.
Another tiny script I have for you is for a camera movement. But that's totally optional. You can use that awesome Cinemachine package from Unity instead. And there you go. This is how you create endless levels in Unity with almost no code. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.